EJ here from the back porch and today we're going to talk about our flock. That's right, we have a flock of hens on nests. Um, when I first started this particular business professionally, I um, had a lot to learn. I was fairly well versed on uh, many areas of the antiquing world because I'd been in the business for a pretty good while, um, but there were some things that I didn't know about. Uh, one of which is how heavy the collectorship is for hens on nests. That's what you're looking at here. Um, they're also known by other names as animal dishes, uh, trinket bowls, trinket dishes, uh, hens on nests, nesting hen, something along those lines. But um, they're a fairly popular uh, collectible item. A lot of people come into our store looking for these particular styles of glassware. Uh, a little bit of history on these particular pieces. The, um, the style originated in the late 19th century in the style of Staffordshire, or some people call that a brand, but it is a style of um, stoneware pottery, stoneware decor. Uh, you'll see it in plate, um, you know, flatware. You'll see it in um, mugs. Um, you'll see it in pitchers. It's a stoneware. Um, and there were some hens on nests that were uh, produced in that stoneware style in the 1880s or so. And uh, that's kind of where this style got started. They were, you know, had practical uses, but they were most definitely decorative. Um, this is probably the best example of something that I might have in that area. It's more of a ceramic type, uh, but an original Staffordshire uh, 19th century hen on nest is going to sell for well over a thousand dollars. Sadly, we don't have any of those in stock, um, but I've got some others I'd like to show you. Um, the, the glass style really kicked off in the 20s and 30s with the Westmoreland Glass Company. And um, there were hundreds of sizes and styles of hens on nests. And it became a very popular collectible. Uh, as you can see here on our desk, we have uh, <clears throat> many different sizes and many different, um, uh, I guess, versions of the particular uh, style of glassware or dish. Um, as it grew older and grew more popular, it became um, spread out into different themes. And as you can see, here is a rooster uh, with his comb and his big tail. Uh, we have turkeys, we have ducks, uh, we even have a cow, we have some swans, uh, we have some things like that. Um, so it evolved into a bigger collectorship um, because of how popular it became. Uh, now, collectors will collect things uh, for different reasons. There are collectors of hens on nests who collect a certain color, like an individual may come after cobalt blue, or an individual may collect cobalt blue glass and then want this cobalt blue hen on nest to accentuate uh, that particular collection. Same thing with, um, say, ruby red or jadeite. Jadeite is a popular, uh, is a popular style of glass. Uh, many of you probably already know that. So you have color collectors, uh, just straight milk glass collectors. You have chicken collectors, people who collect just chickens or roosters or cows. Uh, there are even pigs in this line. Um, then you have collectors who want to collect all of them. Uh, there are those people uh, who are uh, kind of like me in license plates. They want them all, um, and they know exactly what they have. Uh, and they want the one they don't have. They want the little ones, they want the big ones, they want the ones in between, they want the red ones, the green ones, the blue ones, they want them all. Um, and that's why we try to keep a pretty good collection here, uh, selection rather, at uh, the Back Porch Antiques, is so that we can have something to offer those who are collecting in any different style of genre. Uh, concerning brands a little bit, uh, again, Westmoreland uh, is kind of the, the famous old one. Um, also, uh, a familiar brand is Fenton, and um, Lots of hens on nest, uh, more recently, uh, specifically, were made by Fenton. Uh, like this J-Dot piece is marked Fenton, uh, I do believe. Uh, it's not marked, but I believe it to be, I believe it to be Fenton. But we do have some marked Fenton pieces. Uh, maybe this blue one, cobalt blue. Uh, not marked, but nonetheless, we have some marked pieces. Um, this is just a portion of what we have to, to choose from. Uh, a, a more modern brand, uh, even made up to currently, is uh, Moser, 
and uh, they, uh, I, I think they produce kind of this uh, slag glass look. Now, some original Fenton was produced with that slag glass too. Those are highly valuable. Uh, we've sold pieces here up next to $400, um, animal dishes or hens on nest that were the original Fenton um, slag glass, which by the way, slag glass is that, that color there, that purple and white, and uh, it, it's mixed. We've seen it in green and white, blue and white, red and white, red, white, and black. Uh, those sorts of things. Uh, that's a highly collectible color of glassware. Uh, one particular thing I'd like to mention uh, in collecting any kind of glassware, especially hens on nest, is damage. If there is any damage, a collector will cull it immediately. They don't want anything uh, to be wrong with it. Now, this particular piece belongs to me, and it would be a great piece if it weren't for the damage. If you'll notice her little beak, right there is broken off on the end and i have seen a lot of people pick this particular piece up they'll look it over and then they put it right back down uh, if this didn't have the damage that it did it would probably be a 45 or 50 dollar piece i have it marked at 14.95 and nobody has nobody's grabbed it um, they like the red eyes um, kind of the marble eyes there but uh, you'll notice that people, when they're looking at these, and if you're a collector, you know exactly what I'm talking about, they'll pick it up and they'll rub their fingers around the rims. They're looking for any kind of chip, or um, some people have uh, different terminology. Glass people, they know their, they know their stuff. You know, chiggers, they'll call it, or nicks, and um, flea bites, and uh, those sorts of things. Uh, they know exactly what they're looking for. They want nothing with any damage. Uh, they want no damage. So uh, if you're buying to resell in these particular items, make sure that there are no nicks or cracks or damage on them or you will most likely be stuck with a piece and not be able to sell it. Uh, so that's my take on hens on nest animal dishes here at the Back Porch Antiques. Keep an eye on our Facebook and Instagram pages. We list new ones as we get them in. Uh, we would love to ship some of these to you. We do shipping if uh, that's uh, uh, something that you'd like to have. We can give you detailed images and ship them to you insured so that you can get your prized piece at a wonderful deal and safely shipped to you. Uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we would surely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed our video today on Hens on Nest.